<laughs> How's it going, Mr. Cat? Mr. Cat, we gotta talk a little bit about the show, man. What are we doing? This show is a freaking mess, man. This show is supposed to be a cooking show, and we're, we're always messing around. You're actually the... I think you're the biggest problem of the group. You're kind of a troublemaker. Not gonna lie, Mr. Cat. Things have been going a little bit too well for the public, you know? People want a, want a nice cooking show that they can show to their kid, you know, so they can learn how to cook. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Just what the fuck are you doing? Every table so far, nothing's coming out. We don't want no crazy stuff, man. Mr. K, you're too crazy for YouTube. I got, I got a solution for us. So we become more family friendly. No more cursing. First up, Mr. Cat, the cursing has been crazy. It's kind of, it's kind of more my fault. I will say you're not a big cursor. The cursing is more my fault. But you know what, Mr. Cat, you still got progress to do. Second stuff, we gotta be less wild, man. You're always doing a mess, you know. Yeah, I do the same thing, man. Okay, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Mr. Cat, show me your art. Show me your art. <laughs> okay, no, this. Step back. Stay cool, man. And third up, we got we got to stop with the meme, man. <music> We're always doing bad jokes. It's it's just not working, Mr. Cat. We got to focus. All right, Mr. Cat. Is it time for the show, man? Are are we reform? Are we the new Laz and Mr. Cat? Can we do a show? A perfect show, a show that is family friendly, a show that people will see and will be like, oh, this is this is what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be like Mr. Cat, you know, little cat. So yeah, for the pasta, we're going to do a nuts pasta. We're going to put some nuts in there. Yeah, I ground some hazelnuts. So we're going to add the hazelnuts to the mix of dough. Uh, we're going to add some egg and some flour too. Right, so those are our beautiful ingredient. At first, we're gonna our filling for the pasta is gonna be a beautiful celery -ac filling. So yeah, and when we're gonna cook the celery -ac, we're gonna add a little bit of thyme, a little bit of garlic. You know, we're gonna keep it simple. Simple is the way to go. So yeah, a little bit of parmesan too, cause why not? It's gonna be good. After that, we got some beautiful prune sauce for sauce. We're gonna use some beautiful balsamic vinegar uh, with a little bit of honey and some butter. And just to bring everything, uh, again, something that match well with sweetness, cheddar. I, I got this beautiful Porto cheddar, so that's why it's a little bit red. Wow. It's beautiful. The most beautiful. All right, let's do this. Let's freaking do this. All right, so we're gonna start by cooking our celeriac into same amount of milk, same amount of water. I'm adding some garlic and some thyme and we cook it until it's fully tender. Then we're gonna put it into the blender for blending. I'm adjusting the seasoning, so a little bit of salt, pepper. I'm adding some parmesan and then we blend it until it's fully smooth. When it's all done, we're gonna put it into the fridge to cool down. All right, it's time to do the pasta dough. I mix the flour with the nut powder, then I'm adding the eggs, and I mix everything together until we got a nice looking ball. Then we're gonna work it for five to 10 minutes, and we're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes. Looking beautiful. When the dough has nicely rested, we're gonna take a piece and put it into the machine. And like always, we go level by level until we got something nice and thin. Don't be scared if the dough feel more oily than usual because of the nuts, it's usually more, uh, got more grease, I don't know why. When the dough is nice and flat, we're gonna add some flour on one side so it doesn't stick and we're gonna cut a long strip. Then I'm using my cutter that's gonna make a nice little wave shape, cutting some even pieces and then I'm adding the filling. And now it's time to close it, so I'm just folding it onto itself. Then I'm gonna put some pressure on both sides to close it and then I'm gonna pinch it on the other side so that we got a nice close looking like a candy pasta. It's pretty much simple, you're gonna see it's pretty fun and you got a really cool result. All right, I got some boiling water, it's time to cook the pasta. So I'm cooking the pasta until they're fully ready and then I'm draining them. 
and now we're gonna do the sauce I'm adding some butter into a pan I'm making it brown so we're doing brown butter when it's brown we're gonna cut the heat we're gonna add some honey and then some balsamic vinegar and then we're gonna add our pasta mix everything together until it's fully coated and boom our pasta is ready look at this beauty all right it's plating time I'm putting the pasta one by one to be fancy I'm gonna add some diced prune a little bit of that cheddar and some flower petal because we're fancy and that's pretty much it we got a perfect plate of pasta super simple super fancy it looked nice it, it's different you know it just feels different and it's a winner look at this beautiful plate it's like candy but it's pasta probably probably tastes a little bit sweet and savory dude that is that is a nice looking one i i, I like the shape Mm. Yo, that is that is, that is like kind of a kind of a good one. I could see that in a in a fancy restaurant. The question of the day: Since we're in a family friendly environment nowadays, what is your favorite family activity? Boom. You know, skydiving usually is a good f family activity. Going to Woodstock great family you activity cool, going to see wrestling match you know wwe they're just great bonding you know you usually get bonding into adversity and all those stuff really gonna put you into a, a strange situation that you're not used to so the bonding of the family is gonna be even greater but let's be serious i will say camping man actually Talking about camping, I think I think since it's COVID and you know it's all, all social distancing, you know, I I, I want to still do some um, some content, you know, outside of my home, but like social distancing and everything. But I might go camping. Camping would be actually a good solution. So hey, stay tuned. Going to the beach, man. Beach beach day are for everybody. That's the thing. Everybody's happy. So, you know, there's some people that just want to tan. There's some people that want to. Go out in the wave, surf a little bit, you know, just chilling. And there's other people that are like kind of like in the middle of like just tanning and like in the beach and they're just not, they're just hesitant on doing anything with their life. And like if you got a lot of money going to see the, the Lakers, you know, I mean, going to see a basketball match like the Lakers is just like perfect family activity, man. You know, it's always it's always a win, man. Going to see basketball is always a win. Yeah, so it was amazing. To be honest, I don't, I don't think this channel is ever gonna get family friendly. It's doom. But you know what? It's cool, man. It's cool because nowadays nobody nobody care about the stuff anymore. Like parent doesn't check that anymore. They they they, they just stop. They just give up. You know. Everybody got iPad and and freaking computer, so everybody can check whatever they want. So if somebody wanna. Complain, complain to Mr. Cat, not me, man. Mr. Cat is running the show. I'm just there. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I shall see you on another day. So, peace out. Salute.